Hi friends, it's Miss Abigail from the Children's Department at the Hagerstown Library. It's so good to see you today. I miss you all so much. I can't wait to see you again in person. I hope you're doing well. So today for story time, we're going to do something a little bit different. For those of you who have been to story time with me before in the past, you might remember, or your grown-ups might remember, that every year come September or October, I usually have a teddy bear day that sometimes involves a sleepover, but all of the kids get to bring their favorite stuffed animal with them. So it might be a bear, or a shark, or a unicorn, a giraffe. I've seen some pretty fun animals through the years. Maybe you're not so much a stuffed animal fan. Maybe you really like a doll. Or maybe you have a favorite superhero action figure. Well, whatever the case is, we are going to pause the video. I'm going to pause mine, and then you get to pause yours while you're watching. And you need to run and get your favorite critter and bring it back. Or an armload of critters. However many you want to bring. All right, are you ready? Okay, we're going to hit pause. I'll be right back. I'm back. Are you back? Oh good, you didn't get lost. Well, I brought three friends with me today. Two of them you've possibly met before. One of them I know you have not. So the one you definitely have not met is Primrose, the pig. Sometimes she goes by Primmy. And it's possible that you remember Edith and Libby. They usually come with me for Teddy Bear Day. So they all got super excited this morning when I left the house and said that yes, they wanted to come along. Even if they couldn't see you in person, they wanted to see you in video. So they came along to help. They're going to sit back here with Mr. Froggy and the cat in the hat's back here and Sneaks, our library cat, and Pete the cat, and there's a bunny rabbit too. They're going to sit back here they're going to watch, and each one of them is going to help me with a different part of story time. So, Primmy asked Miss Kitty if she could help with the hello song. So this is the one that Miss Kitty usually sings. It goes like this. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? on this happy day. Mwah! Her paw doesn't quite reach to her mouth, but she blew you a kiss. Did you get it? Yay! Thanks, Prim. Are you going to go back? Okay, it's trade-off time. Primmy is going to watch, and... Libby wanted to help with the apple tree and five little apples. She says that there are five apples in the basket and there are five empty spots on the tree. So here we go. Let's see if it all works out. There's one apple, two apples, three, four, and five. And an empty basket. The math worked out perfectly. All right. So are you ready for five little apples? Here we go. Five little apples up in a tree. Enough for you and enough for me. And we shook that tree as hard as we could. And down came one apple. And mm, was it good. Four little apples up in a tree. Enough for you and enough for me. We shook that tree as hard as we could and down came one apple. And mm, was it good. Three little apples up been a tree, enough for you and enough for me. We shook that tree 
as hard as we could, and down came one apple. And mmm, was it good. Two little apples up in a tree, enough for you and enough for me. We shook that tree as hard as we could, and down came one apple. And mmm, was it good. One little apple up in a tree, enough for you and enough for me. We shook that tree as hard as we could, and down came one apple, and mmm, was it good. Yay! Thanks, Libby. All right, are you going to go back? She's going to go back. You might not always be able to see them, but they are back here, and they are all watching the stories. Because it is time for a book. And the book actually is a rhyme. It is called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, and it's illustrated by Michael Haig, we have a couple different versions of this book at the library, but I happen to like the illustrations in this one. And I get to read it today thanks to HarperCollins Publishers. So if you have your critter, grab them if you don't have them in your lap already, and do the missions with them while I read the book. If I had an extra hand, I would have one of my friends helping me. I don't have an extra hand. I need both to help hold the book and turn the pages. So. I'll try and do the motions as I can. Are you ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. You can do that. Here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Wait a minute. Libby has on her shoes. Only the bottoms of her shoes are clean. I think our teddy bear friend might have been in the mud. Uh-oh. Oh, definitely uh-oh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Oh, no. I bet he helps his mama clean it up. Do you help your moms and dads and grown-ups clean messes up? I hope so. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go upstairs. You pretend like you're walking up steps. There you go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. She pulls on a chain, click. A lot of you might have light switches on your wall, click. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night. And that's the end. I guess I should apologize to all the not teddy bears out in the audience. The book and the next rhyme do have teddy bears in the title. But even if you're not a bear, you can still enjoy them. I promise. Right. Are you ready to see what's on my flannel board today? Okay. I'm going to slide out of the way a little bit. Here they come. Do you see what's on them? On there? Uh-huh. I see more bears. Can you help me count them? There's one, two, three, four, five. And you know that there's a song called Five in the Bed. Do you know that one? Well, that's what we're going to sing today. And if you know the motions, you can do them or you can have your bear or your other critter do them. If you don't know them, you'll know them by the end. I promise. It goes like this. 
There were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh no! There were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There was one in the bed and the little one said, now that they've all rolled out, I can spread out and take a nap. surrounded the little bear all over again. I don't think the little one got much sleep after that. I don't think so. Do you think they were all jumping on the bed? They might have been. All right, well that's the end. Thanks for singing with me. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Even if the bears in the bed almost did fall off the flannel board. It's a little slippery. All right, I'm going to slide them back over here. And grab Edith. Because it's time to say goodbye. Our time together today went really, really fast. At least it seemed to, to me. I hope you enjoyed the book and the, um, the rhyme, the song on the flannel board. So it's can you clap with two hands? Or, in Edith's case, paws. Are you ready? It goes like this. Can you clap with two hands? Two hands, two hands. Can you clap with two hands? Clap, clap, clap. Can you stomp with two feet? Two feet, two feet. Can you stomp with two feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you wiggle ten fingers, ten fingers, ten fingers? Can you wiggle ten fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. We got you. Can you kiss with two lips? Mwah! Two lips, Mwah! two lips. Mwah! Can you kiss with two lips? Mwah! Oh my goodness, it was so good to see you today. Thanks for joining me for Teddy Bear Day via video. I hope that you all stay safe and healthy. We cannot wait to see you again. And grown-ups, we really do have a special announcement about virtual story times. So check out our website and our calendar of events and hopefully something will be up on our social media pages too to find out all about how we might be able to see you in story time that way. Until the next time, I'll say goodbye. Edith will say goodbye. Primmy will say goodbye. And Libby will say goodbye. Bye friends.